Today we're gonna talk about the iMinis. Bam. Let's go check it out. Okay everybody, today I'm gonna do a little review on the iMini. Um, it's super mini. I just, it doesn't say who it's made by. R-O-H-S, that's what it says. Um, 500 milliamp battery, if you can see that down there. 15 wattage, super small. If you can look at it, it's palm size. You can literally hide it. You can't even see it. Um, so one power setting, it comes with no instructions in the box, literally. Uh, no instructions, it's just this piece alone. Micro USB charging, okay? Now, it fits any slim battery, whether it's a one gram or half a gram. This right now, what I'm putting on is a one gram to give you a visual on how big it is if you're using a one gram cartridge, okay? Um, should be a 3.7 voltage, just like the standard um, mods here. And the great thing about this iMini, why I'm picking it up and decide to sell this at our retail shop is because it fits the other CBD tanks, the other slim tanks that are slightly bigger on the bottom. Now, some of you don't may know or may not know that not all slim cartridges are made equally because if you look at the bottom base, this one here, it's much bigger in diameter on the base of it. So therefore, it doesn't fit in the hives, like the old school hives here, the, the older hives. You notice it doesn't fit in there because some of the dispensaries um, that are putting oils in these, they come a little bit thicker on the bottom. And, and that's just the way they're made. I don't know why, but just know that these are the two general um, slim cartridges that uh, the industry has made. So just to give you a visual there. Now the iMini comes, should be a one power setting. Someone told me it's a variable voltage. I couldn't seem to figure it out. If you guys figure it out, leave a comment below. That way everybody knows about it. Um, same thing, one, two, three, four, five to turn on. And you can see a little blue light. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you see that blue light there. And to give you a visual on half a gram cartridge, Boom, gives you a visual there. And take a look at the cartridge that comes just slightly bigger in diameter. So the, the great thing about the iMini is that it's a, it's a smaller uh, modular device. Plus it's able to fit pretty much all realms of slim cartridges now, okay? Um, I, seem, I seem to find this much more proportionate. Um, you can also still use the half a gram slim cartridges instead of the one gram because it's a little bit smaller. You see that? It's not so like, it doesn't stick out like a sword thumb. Just to give you a visual on that there. Okay. So overall, between the two, the Hive and this, if you look at it, it's a visual side by side. I love the Hive. It's a 650 milliamp battery. The iMini is, 500 milliamps, it's much lighter. It's not so heavy as the Hive here, okay? But the Hive is definitely a better quality. There's a little glass you can see through. This right here is definitely exposed. Both micro USB at the same time. Should be both 3.7 volts. So you guys choose, and you guys comment below and tell me which one you guys like better. Um, I'm using the Hive currently. I just got these in our retail shop, so not entirely sure how this really works, but I think it should work just fine. It's a standard 3.7 volt, 500 milliamp battery. The only thing I'm really worried about is this getting caught on something and sort of bending something. But at the end of the day, if you just keep it in your pocket, it should be just fine. You can throw in your duffel bag, you can travel. At the end of the day, you know, we're really just doing this for convenience purposes and efficiency. Um, I love it. I would recommend it. Just some general rule of thumb here when it comes to slim cartridges, I wanna remind you all, do not use any twist batteries or any higher voltage batteries because you can blow out the burners in these tanks here. And if you do, um, you're pretty much shit out of luck there, okay? And uh, if you have a glass tank, luckily if you do have a glass tank, you can somehow get a lighter, put a lighter directly to the tank 
and extract it out. Um, if not, if you have a plastic tank, some of the manufacturers make them in plastic um, slim tanks, then you're pretty much shit out of luck there. You're gonna, you're gonna lose all your oils in there trying to extract it out. Um, it's pretty tough depending on how thick your oils are, okay? So just keep in mind, do not use high power. Sip slow. The harder you draw, the more potential you can open to um, leakage because these um, atomizers aren't designed to burn at high power so it doesn't vaporize all the juice that you're drawing in. So sip slow and long if you want a bigger hit. If you want a, uh, a softer hit, just sip normal, okay? Thank you.